So this is an update to a demo that you can find on the channel of um, working with PSQL and developer cloud service. I'm going to show you some new things here. One aspect is this dashboard where you can see the task for your team and what their status is. The other thing I wanted to show you is that now in JDeveloper, in the newer version, there's a team option. And from the team option, you can actually connect directly to the developer cloud service and see your tasks directly from inside the tool. So for example, here we can see the task that was assigned for us in developer cloud service. And we can actually double click on it to open it and see the full details directly inside our development environment. And then we can go ahead and also update this task. So for example, we can put in um, a comment about this task, maybe notify our team that we're working on this today. And maybe we can change the estimate for how long it's going to take us and then submit the updates. So this directly updates the developer cloud service. And um, once you do this, by the way, if your team members would go to their homepage, they would see the updates in their activity stream. So they know exactly what's going on at any point of time. In any case, um, what they asked us to do here is to add a column that track bonuses for employees. So we can go into our employee definition. So this is the definition of a table and we can just add another column. Okay, so we're adding the bonus column. It's going to be a number and um, we're going to have, have the size be 3. Okay. And this is basically updating the offline database in JDeveloper. And now we can generate um, SQL files, SQL script to actually create a database. So what we're going to do is we're going to override an existing script that we have. So we have a script that we created previously for this user. And now we're just regenerating this uh, to do a replace of the tables in the database and just finish the wizard, this would generate the SQL file. Here's the file. And you can also notice that it's changed based on the icon next to it in our uh, application navigator. If you actually scroll down, you would see our new column presented here. So now that this file has changed, we can actually um, check it into our version management, right? So we're going to do, uh, first we're going to um, create a branch so we're not going to check it on master. We're going to first uh, make the changes on a branch of our code. So we're going to create the bonus fix branch. Then we're going to add um, all the files that were changed. So when we did this change, we actually also changed the diagram. So those two files would go in. And then we're going to do a commit. So one thing to notice about the commit here is that beyond putting in uh, your comment, your regular comment, on the bottom part of this window, you can actually see the connection to developer cloud service and to your tasks. So you can go look up the task that you've been working on, okay, and actually indicate to J developer that when he checks in this code, he should close this task. So those are the checkbox that you have here. So after we push the update to the repository, we're going to mark these tasks to be closed. Okay. So now we're ready to actually go and push this up to the developer cloud service Git repository in the cloud. It's going to create a new branch for us, like that. And then we'll click finish. And you can see the progress on the right side at the bottom. And now that it's done, we can switch back into developer cloud service, refresh our homepage, and we'll see the new transaction here with the related uh, task that we've been working on directly there. Okay. If we actually click on this, we can go and compare the code and what was changed. So we change um, some of the project file, um, the diagram, and also, of course, the offline table script creation. And one interesting thing to note here is that, yeah, there's the bonus uh, line over here, but there's also a change in the way that we handle constraint drop. Okay. And that's one nice thing about actually looking into version management and figuring out what exactly did we change from the previous version. What I'm doing now is I'm creating what we refer to as a merge request, and you can also refer to it as a um, code review request. And I'm going to link it to a specific issue I'm working on, like that. Okay, so it's very easy to just search our repository and then indicate that what we want to do is we want to merge into master the changes that we did in the bonus uh, fix 
a branch, and we're going to ask Dana to review this. Okay. So now, when Dana would come into the environment, he would see this request, and he would see this um, discussion that we have with him. If he click on change file, or if I click on change file, I can again visually see what was changed, and I can go over and comment on stuff. So for example, I can let Dana know that I'm aware of this change that is not just the bonus field, but also the way that we drop the table. Okay. I can put some remark here or some comment and um, submit those. And then when Dana or anyone else that reviews the code would come in and look at the conversation, he would see the comment on the specific line of code over here. Alright, so if we're okay with the change, we can actually merge our branch into the main line of code. So we're going to click Merge, and again, we have all the information here about which specific uh, feature we're merging, and that's about it. Now, what this project is set up to do is the minute that you actually merge code into the main code line, we're going to start a build file. So now if you look at the master branch and you go down to the script um, that creates the database, you would see the change script. So let's scroll down, you would see the bonus field right here. Right? So because this is now in the main branch, you can see that there's a build that has been queued for us. Okay? If we actually go and look at the build, okay, let's look at the configuration here, you would see that this build is connected to our source repository, specifically to the master branch down here. What triggers it is a change in our software configuration management, so in Git, and what it's going to do is it's going to do a deploy step from our ant build file. Okay. So let's go and look at this ant build file. Again, it's part of our project. Um, you can find it here, the build XML. And you would see here the task that we're, the target we're invoking is the deploy. And we're basically just connecting to a database. This is, by the way, a database in the cloud. And we're running this specific SQL script. So again, this is going to run directly from inside developer cloud service. We see that it's successfully completed. If we go into the log, here's what it says. Nine SQL statements have been executed. Just to prove it to ourselves, we can actually go over and invoke, for example, SQL developer and then connect to the database in the cloud. Okay, we have the account here, put in our password, go in and um, just do a describe for the employee table to see the changes. So what we actually are seeing here is the complete flow of a change in our SQL script that automatically gets applied into our database. Okay, so it's the complete continuous integration of code, um, build, and deploy done from developer cloud service into an Oracle database.